Hi there, in this video I wanted to provide some intuition behind Marcos inequality because I'm sort of aware that over the last few videos we have been getting quite bogged down in the mathematics of the situation and there's actually quite an easy interpretation of Markov's inequality. So first of all, what is Markov's inequality? It's that the probability that x is greater than or equal to a has got to be less than or equal to the expected value of x all divided by a. And the sort of example which I'm going to give here is the case of a die. So a die, in case you don't know, is a sort of cube which on each side has a different number written. So the numbers take on the values, let's say 1, 2, 3, all the way through to 6. So our sort of variable x is going to represent the value which our die takes on, if we just throw the die. And associated with each of those values of x, there is a corresponding probability, the probability that our random variable takes on that specific value. And for the case of a fair die, each of these probabilities will actually be a sixth. But I'm actually not going to assume that our die is necessarily a fair die. The only thing which I am going to assume is that the expectation of the value which our die shows is three and a half. And for those of you among us which are sort of familiar with the um, case of a die or a fair die, it is actually the case that the expectation of a fair die is three and a half. But there are other ways you could get this, right? So if the probability that x is one or two is zero and the probability that x is five and six is zero, then if the probability that x is three is a half and the probability that x is four is a half, then I would still get a probability, or sorry, I would still get an expectation of x, which is three and a half. So I don't need to assume that it's a fair die in order to enforce this particular condition. Okay, so let's think about this Markov's inequality as applied to the situation of our die. So let's think about the probability that x is greater than or equal to 6. Well, we know from Markov's inequality that that's got to be less than or equal to the expectation of our die, which is just 3.5, divided by 6. And this is just equal to 7 over 12. Okay, so that's just what Markov's inequality tells us. Let's now assume that this isn't true. Let's assume that the probability that x is greater than or equal to 6 is actually greater than 7 over 12. And also I should say that the probability that x is greater than or equal to 6 is actually the probability that x equals 6 because there are no other numbers which are greater than or equal to 6. Okay, so let's use this sort of counter example here and see if we can force some sort of contradiction. So the way I'm going to try and force a uh, contradiction here is to show that if this is the case, if this condition is true, then the expected value of x cannot be 3.5. In order to do this, we first of all need a formula for the expected value of a discrete random variable, but we have that from sort of previous videos. That's just the sum over all x values of x times the probability that x equals x. Okay, and we know for the case of a die, this is just going to be 1 times the probability that x equals 1, plus 2 times the probability that x equals 2. And we sort of go all the way through until 6 times the probability that x equals 6. And we know that each of these sort of probabilities has to be greater than or equal to zero because that's just the definition of probabilities. So all of this sort of stuff, when we sort of consider summing it together, all up until not including the sort of sixth term, we know that this has got to be greater than or equal to zero. So we can write a formula or an inequality for our expected value of x. Namely, the expected value of x has got to be greater than or equal to six times the probability that x equals 6. Okay, but we have sort of assumed that the probability that x equals 6 is greater than 7 over 12. In other words, we know that the expected value of x has to be greater than 6 times 7 over 12. And this is just equal to 3 and a half. Namely, we have, assumed, but we have shown by assuming that the probability that x equals 6 is greater than 7 over 12, that the expected value of x 
cannot be three and a half. Namely, we have got a contradiction. So if we assume that Markov's inequality isn't true, then we get a contradiction here. Namely, the expected value of my random variable will be greater than that which we have actually assumed. So that's the sort of intuition for why Markov's inequality is true. It sort of places an upper bound on the sort of probability associated with a particular value because if there wasn't that upper bound, then the expected value for that particular random variable would actually have to shift up. 